Well, there have been lots of, uh, lots of reports, lots of reactions coming in on this railway scam. This is Arun Jaitley of the BJP. Mr. Jaitley, aren't the jaws tired of asking for resignations now? Well, I won't be tired asking for resignations as long as the corruption continues. Somebody in the Congress today said that the opposition is in the habit of asking for resignations. Well, you are in the habit of making money. We have no option but to perform a national task in asking for your resignation. Is it possibility that the gentleman was acting on his own and Mr. Pawan Bansal, the railway minister, did, does not know about it? Well, the claim of some of the Congress spokesmen is that the officer being appointed as a member of the railway board is extremely bright. So we can attribute some common sense to him. Why should he be paying a Singla or a Goyal? Unless he knows that Singla and Goyal act on behalf of a Bansal. Singla and Goyal don't make appointments. Mr. Bansal does. And therefore, when political associates and relatives of a minister who normally operate on behalf of the minister politically get paid for making such high level appointments and the appointment is in fact made, they are caught red handed. It's very difficult to believe that the minister was unaware of it. But it's a safe presumption, an open and shut case that these people were acting on behalf of the minister. But suddenly the CBI seems to be coming up on its own, uh, to its own terms that well, it is actually true. raiding knowing people well, who have nephews. Is, but I will reserve my compliment for the CBI till such time they take this investigation to a logical cause. Will you add another demand that Pawan Bansal has to go? Well, can anybody say that he can continue after this? Well, this is a, as I have said, this is a cash and carry government. Common minimum program of the UPA now is one scam a day. That's the pace at which they are functioning. The session, what happens to it now? The government says you we want to run you it. You can't have every second minister involved in some corrupt scandal and the government brazening it out and then saying we are not responsible for it.